Hello and welcome to Mario Kart Double Dash, which is the next game we'll be covering in during our Mario Kart arc here on the channel, which I wasn't originally supposed to cover for a few more weeks, but then Nintendo dropped the bombshell that was the booster pass, uh, or booster pack, it's called uh, the booster pack, you know, you know what I mean. The additional DLC that's being released for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as of next month, so that caused me to rapidly accelerate my plans for continuing my, continuing my playthroughs of these games. So now here we are with Double Dash, and we're just gonna we're just gonna dive straight. Uh, that would be me knocking over my water bottle. We're just gonna dive straight into this. We're gonna jump in and see how this is. This, in theory, should be when the jank of Mario Kart has is start starts to evaporate because we're now in fully. I mean, we're, we, I was gonna say we're all, we're now in fully 3D. We were technically already in fully 3D world with Nintendo 64, but that just is is counterbalanced by the standard jank that is associated with all Nintendo 64 games. So. Hopefully this one will be a little smoother to, to deal with, so we'll see how this goes. One player, of course, Grand Prix. And for those who missed the finale of the last episode, uh, or for Super Circuit, my plan moving forward is I'm going to be playing through all the courses once on 150cc. I don't think I'm going to have enough time for Mirror Mode. If I do, then we'll do that, but we're, I'm, I'm only going to commit to 150cc for all, the, for all the courses and all the games right now, because I really want to try to get through all the all the Mario Kart games I haven't played before the booster pack comes out for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So that's the plan. So 150cc. Now this is one thing I do know, is that you can- you don't play as one character, you play as two characters. Which is certainly interesting, hence why it's called Double Dash. And I think the way that works mechanically is that you can switch items, which is something that I wish more Mario Kart games would implement, is the ability to switch what item you currently have equipped. So I think that's how it works, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to wait and see, but for now, for this episode, we're just going to start with standard everything, standard uh, Mario and Luigi duo, standard cart, is I believe what this is called. And hey, look at that, the ability to choose what cart we have instead of just what character we have. Who would have thought it? And we're going to get the show on the road, starting off with the Mushroom Cup, featuring Luigi Circuit, Peach Beach, Baby Park, and Dry Dry Desert. Let's begin. Okay, so now we have to try the Turbo Star for this game, which you have to do now. Okay, so I looked up how to do the Turbo Star between the Super Circuit and, and this LP because I didn't want to not know how to do it. Because last time it was really weird when you actually have to when you had to do it. Because previously it was always very consistent, and that it was hey when the when the when the countdown reaches two, that's when you hit the button, and then th there you go. But that was not the that okay. That was gonna hit with the banana peel. That was not the case with Super Circuit, so I was I didn't know what to do. So I went out of my way to make sure I looked up special. Okay. Um Okay, so there's special items. I'm gonna go out I'm gonna go ahead and get and go on I'm gonna go out on the line here and say or go out on the limb here, sorry, and say that every character has their own special ability or special item, and then that's how you Oh. Okay, um that's some pretty damn sharp aim for the AI to have with green shells. Interesting. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that every character has their own special, their own special item that they can use, and that's that's what that was. So Luigi's special special item is the army of green fireballs. That seems incredibly useful. Oh, and we got it again. Okay, hey, uh, Wario, you wanna you wanna take some of this once I get close enough to you to use it? I think you might wanna take some of that. Is that gonna hit him? No. Oh, okay. No, they they did not hit him. Turns out. But the random chain chomp that just spawned out of nowhere certainly did. Is that is that someone's special ability? By oh, okay, that's weird. So I held down the item button to try to hold the to try to hold it behind me, but it did not uh, did not go according to plan because it just didn't. Yeah, I, okay. Oh, that. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. So holding the oh do no do not like that, and that's a big old no for me. Wow, okay, so you can't hold items behind you anymore. Wow. That's... bad. So... That was something you can do in Super Circuit, was you could hold items behind you, and then just wait for something to... Okay, well... Uh... I guess I'll go over my initial impressions in the next race. All right, let's see if we can do this again. All right, well, at least at least we seem to be able to nail the turbo start. Now, granted, now that I said that, I probably won't be able to nail it, but at least at least I know when to do it. I know you have to 
excuse me, you have to do it once the lights turn green. But, uh, so you could always hold items behind you in previous Mario Kart games. Like, you could do that in Super Circuit. Oh, wow, the water slows you down significantly more than it used to. You could always hold an item behind you. You seem to not be able to do that anymore. So that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, in fact, because that was a big part of, well, all Mario Kart games, but okay. Uh, other than that, the, I mean, it controls way better than all the other Mario Kart games, and it's not even close. The, the, the handling is still not great. Like, it, it's definitely still a little slippery and a little rough around the edges. But it, it's, it's still light years better than the previous, than all three previous Mario Kart games that I've played on the channel thus far. Not that that's a very high bar, but still, it's, it's worth, it's worth pointing out when all we've had... Okay, don't like that at all either. So when you get struck by lightning, you are you, it doesn't it doesn't remember what direction you were facing. It it forces you back to okay. Don't like that either. Don't like that either. So yeah, that's can hold items behind you and lightning strike doesn't remember the direction you were facing before you were struck by the lightning. Don't like either of those things at all. Okay, also the AI seems to have unreasonably good aim when it comes to throwing shells your way. Which is certainly interesting. Anyway, so let's see if we can actually win this one now that we have- We were just gifted the god set of items with three mushrooms and an invisibility star. Uh, okay, really? You get screwed over at the absolute last possible second there, huh? Okay, yeah, the AI's aim with these shells is absurd. Alright, well, at least it's handling better than it was previously. At least- at least we can say that. It's handling better. Which is probably the best- the biggest thing that we could- we could ask for. Now, this I don't expect to go well at all, because it's Baby Park, and Baby Park just sucks. Baby Park just sucks. And we didn't even nail the turbo start, so we just lose then. So we- we just lose. They- they seem to also drive a lot fast. I mean, yes, uh, granted, we haven't been playing 150cc for the previous courses, so... In case anyone wants to say that, yeah, I'm aware. But I'm- yeah, I'm- I've also played 150cc consistently for the other Mario Kart games, and they seem to be significantly faster here. Significantly faster, in fact, than they are in other one, 150cc incarnations. Okay, take that, please, and thank you. I should, I should probably see... I should probably switch to Mario, see if we can get his special ability. Uh, give me that. Can we get a special for you? No, we can't. We can get a mushroom, okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll hold on to that for the straightaway right here. Thank you kindly. And I... I still don't think I... I I'm, I'm trying all the buttons. I still don't think you can look behind you. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to throw the screenshot behind me. What I would do, ordinarily, is I would try to hold it behind me to wait for someone else to hit it. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be a thing you can do in this... The aim with the green shells is just absurd. This is... Okay, this is gonna get on my nerves real fast. This is gonna get on my nerves real fast. Please take some green fireballs. Thank you very much. Okay, you stay back there. Also, drifting's weird. You have to kind of, like intentionally shift back and forth before you can actually get the drift boost which is weird like you usually you can just just drifting is enough to actually get you the boost but this time you have to you have to shake the stick back and forth before it actually gives you the, the boost which is weird all right well we got through baby park which is which is the important part we, we made it through baby park because baby park is just a circle that goes on for longer than it should it's just seven laps of driving in a circle i've never been a fan of baby park Man, it, it's, I mean, it, it looks better in Mario Kart 8, but other than that, the, the courses are just the same. So, hey, it's over. Okay, can we get it this time? No, we, okay, we, there we go, we got it. So, I also... I said that we lost last time when we didn't get a turbo start, yet it was also the only one we actually won so far. Somehow. Granted, I say that. We should have won Baby Peach. We absolutely should have won Baby Peach, but we got screwed over at the last second from some random shell that came out of nowhere, despite having... Oh, okay, don't hit don't hit that. Don't, absolutely don't want to hit that. I right. Um, 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 um... Excuse me? Oh, that's awful. No, like, that's actually garbage. Okay. Wow, so, in Mario Kart 8, when you hit that pit, you can escape it as long as you don't get too close to the middle. 
but there, I just barely touched the quicksand, and I immediately got sucked down, and there was absolutely nothing I could do about it. Okay, so that sucks. That's actually... Wow, good thing they changed that from Mario Kart 8, because that is not a good thing to put in a, in a, in a course. Okay. Well, uh, don't hit the tornado, please, and thank you. Well, that was- oh god almighty, there's so much everywhere. Go, 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 please, and thank you. Okay, so, we're doing okay, overall. Ay, yay, 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 yay. So, just don't- cause something you would- you used to be able to do was- Nope. You can't even- You- you can't even mushroom out- are you kidding me? You can't even mushroom out- Alright, so this is the worst course so far, and it's not even close. This is awful. This is horrendous. This is, like, actually garbage. Jesus Christ. I don't know how they playtested this and thought this was good. Even just barely touching the quicksand sends you sprawling towards the middle with no way to get out of it. That- there- and, and it goes up, like, it's not even close to the middle is, is the- is the event horizon point of no return. It's if you get even remote- if, if you aren't perfectly on the edge at all times, you're going over the edge. And- and- or into the middle, I should say. So... Like, look at how narrow a field you have to maneuver to get around that middle area. I don't like that at all. This is a good thing I'm only playing these courses once for the for the revamped version of these LPs because Jesus, I don't know that I can handle that that quicksand thing any more than just once. That that is horrible. I, I thought I could hit him with a green shot, but sadly I could not. Uh, last minute fireball to save the day. Nope. And where did you? Okay, I thought we were gonna get. I thought second place was gonna be stolen from us, but at least we finished second. Wow, alright, um, so I guess I'll get my final thoughts on this after the, uh, oh, we're tied for first. But it's still, alright, you know what, we win by, we win by, I don't know what we win by. We win by luck. They rolled the dice as to who was gonna get first place, and, and it was us. Congratulations! Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do... Oh, well, that, that moves a little... That moves pretty slowly. Okay, never mind. Okay, so holding it down goes a bit fast. I thought... I, I was just tapping it instead of actually holding it down. But holding it down makes it go a lot faster. Okay, that's good to know. So we'll put in GM, and then for the last one, we'll do T413. There we go. Okay. So overall, that was, that was fine. Well, that wasn't horrible by any means. You won a gold trophy on the Mushroom Cup of 150 CC. You got Luigi's Mansion and new battle mode stage. That's pretty neat. Okay, so yeah, so overall, that was fine. I mean, it, it, it certainly handles the best out of anything we played so far. And I don't know that I'd say I had the most fun during I think I probably had more fun during Mario Kart 64's early stages. Uh, but the inability to hold shells behind you... That's gonna get on my nerves. That that's such a fundamental part of Mario Kart's gameplay is the ability to store items. But you, I, I'm assuming the reason why you can't is because you have to switch characters, and that if you, but it's, it, it, but it's that's just like I, 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 what I was gonna say is that if you if you switch characters, then it might release it because you're you're switching it, so it can't hold it behind you. But then I would just say make it go back into your inventory at that point. So I don't know. I, I don't like that at all. I definitely don't like the seemingly increased uh, speed and accuracy of the AI, and I absolutely do not like the change they made to Dry Dry Desert. That was horrible. The, the, the quicksand should not pull you in that quickly. But hey, I didn't hate it. Still still enjoy myself overall, and I'm looking forward to playing some more of it. Although I am very happy that I've chosen to only play through the courses once this time. Alright, so that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I'll catch you all tomorrow for some more Mario Kart Double Dash. Goodbye. <laughs>